Hi, this is Jennifer from svgcuttablefiles.com and I'm going to show you real quick how to open an SVG file in Cricut Design Space. So first thing, I downloaded an SVG file and I went into my downloads folder and I'm going to locate it here and then I want to move it into, it's a, it's a baseball, so I want to move it into my baseball folder so I can keep organized. So you can do it in two ways. You can drag it and drop it into your baseball folder. I have a baseball SVG folder here. Ooh, let me go back. Or you can click on the file. Let's see where it was. Right there. You go click on home, move to, choose, oh. Let me do that again. Home, move to, choose location and then baseball SVG file and move. So now it's, let's see where is that at, there it is. Now it's over here and I have to unzip it so I'm going to click on it, right click and then I'm going to click on extract all, extract. So now here's the extracted version let me click that off. So you got the extracted version and the zipped, and you can delete the zipped if you want. No, no longer need that. So now that I have it unzipped in here, I'm gonna come into Cricut Design Space, click on New Project, click on Upload here, Upload Image, and you can drag and drop the file here or you can click browse which I always click browse that's just what I'm used to doing and then I find that file here I had it in the baseball SVG and I click there and there it is unzipped I'm going to click on the unzip folder keep clicking until you get to the SVG so I'm going to find I have two SVGs in here click on the first one click open so here it is and then you can insert a name and any tags if you want. So you can search for baseball real quick. I'm not going to do that because it's fine. And then I'm going to click save down here. Now it's in the recently uploaded images. I'm going to click on that baseball and click down here on the screen insert images. And there you go. It's now open in Cricut Design Space and you can size it however you want. Alright, thank you for watching.